everyone welcome to the sugar and crumbs kitchen where we're in for a fantastic tonight as when karen is always in the kitchen so when karen davis is in, we <laughs> love it because she brings so many cakes in the kitchen and i've just said to carol karen crikey karen <laughs> how many how many of this whole kitchen is rowed with them all so she's got loads and loads of things to show you tonight now just to give you a warning uh, we've had, we've had a look at our wi-fi there is a problem in the area if we go down do not worry we will come back so this is part one we'll come back part two on the same here <laughs> on youtube but you have to give us five minutes because facebook has to close us down doesn't it so uh, anyhow but just give us five minutes and we will be back you're not getting away with it tonight you're staying here <laughs> so um, i'm gonna buzz off straight away let karen get straight into it because she's got loads to show you oh, so thank good you girl, karen. thank you carol <laughs> thank you can i just say though if it does yeah. you could drop and then come back straight away yes well not, that's what's happened yeah so not yeah. not not stop the stream just yeah. keep the stream going but we might stop and yeah. come back about 20 seconds later so yeah good just oh. hold on to your seats girls <laughs> oh dear <We'll> have fun. <laughs> right um the main reason i'm here tonight is because i have three new molds out this week okay the first one is the palm spear now which camera do i need to hold it to straight up yeah, yeah. so you can see that okay mm -hmm. that's the palm spear and that is it's been very popular already got two sizes here and i'll show you how to make a smaller one as well when i do uh, when i demonstrate that later there's so much i've got to show you i don't know how i'm going to fit it on no, neither do I. <laughs> I must admit that that mold sold out yeah first quick. this week oh um right this is our new fringe mold okay you can do so much with this as well that's the top edge the straight edge and then that uneven edge is the bottom of it but it could be trimmed to fit obviously okay and then we've got our macrame accessories mold which has got borders motifs flower petals uh, lots of things on there and that complements the macrame one we brought out um, a month or two ago okay i don't think many people knew really what to do with this one but now because we've got this and the fringe there's when you see the cakes you will realize there is so much you can do i think people just thought oh another border mold but um there is a lot you can do with that one as well okay so shall i start by showing you the cakes absolutely yeah okay gotta see the cakes They're fabulous, aren't they? <laughs> so shall i bring i'll bring this one in first i think because it's the closest to hand well this one here ladies I have to say, if you can't get sharp edges, you've now got the mould. <laughs> yeah, like Carol says, it hides so much. As soon as you walked in with that way, right, there's all your bumps and lumps gone. Yeah, and that fringe there, you can see, like the top tier is the whole piece of fringe just covering the sides of your cake. So it hides any lumps, bumps, you know, anything, any marks. And then the bottom tier, because that's a taller tier, I've split the fringe into three smaller three narrower pieces okay and you can see i've cut into it a little bit i'm going to show you that all the different effects and patterns you can get with it and the flowers on it are from the macrame accessories and what i've done with that mold is just put the petals on separately so i could fit them on because you see how big these flowers are yeah. they would be a mold on their own yeah <laughs> so i thought oh it's better to just put separate petals on i think that okay. looks fabulous just in that color that Right, so shall I lift these or do you want to bring the camera I, round? Which one would you like to show? If right, we'll do the lion first, this nice right, lion. So I... <laughs> Just switch cameras. If I, you'll have to bear with me a little bit. <laughs> there we go. That? There he is. So that, we love this one. Um, the fringe around the top here, it just, it, it, there's so many different things we can think of we've just got to find the time now to get things done with it it's so cute, there's that. so many so many different things you know you can use it on novelty cakes for um, thatched cottages you can all different animals it's only you uh, would think of a thatched cottage, highland highland cows there's loads there's all sorts of things men you know loads and loads of things that is handy for um it's Google. just Yes, Dougal, anyone old enough to remember the magic roundabout? I was going to say, you're showing your age now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The magic roundabout, okay? They, yeah. they repeated it for years and years. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. there was a modern version of it as well, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. have the modern version. Yeah. But this one here, this cake, you can see here I've used the crochet 
for his face. So the whole cake is as though it's crocheted and knitted. This is the knitted piece here. And they're just such simple, really simple shapes to do. Okay. It looks He's even got a tail coming round the side there. You can just see underneath his little tail and just a bunch of the fringe sort of squashed together there for the end of his tail. Okay, and then if we move to this pink, peachy pink cake there, Simon. This one? Yeah, that's it. So there you can see the palm spear on that. And, and because it's such a big leaf, it's the, like the main feature on the cake. So what you put with it, you can just put some very small flowers and leaves. Those little roses are off the buttercream flowers. Um, we've got the fern leaf off the tropical leaves and the nice grassy sort of gold effect there is off the wild meadow mould. And I've snipped it with scissors as well. Um, the palm spear, you, you will have noticed them a lot. Uh, there's a lot of dried flowers around now, become very, very popular again in home decor. So um, one of the reasons I keep seeing dried flowers put onto cakes, which some will be maybe will be safe to do so but just check don't just buy them at a garden center and stick them on your cake or whatever it's just so good to have something that's made from icing completely edible oops oh, oh, phew, i thought i knocked something off the cake there's a rolling pin yeah so there's another two cakes here with them on you can see this nice blue one the pale blue very very similar to the peach and green you've just seen um yeah the same fern leaf and the grassy, the grassy pieces, but this time the flowers are off the um, brush embroidery mould. Okay, so it's really, really simple, and just a few pieces to put together. It just makes a really big, big feature on the cake. And there's just a little spray off them. I'll just turn the cake a little bit there, so you can see just at the side on the bottom. I will say the blue mm -hmm. there is completely different to what's showing up on the camera. Is it? Looks, yeah, looks the colour. Oh, does it look yeah. yeah. it's it's darker? The lighting over here yeah. isn't as good as over it's there. It's a very, so you can just very catch the pale. correct blue. Just yeah. as you turned it, you can catch where the light is catching it. That's yeah. the correct blue. Yeah. 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 So it's beautiful. Pretty, that one. It is a very pretty one. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. I'll go to the last one. The last palm sphere here. Okay, and this this will probably be difficult to see the colour as well. It's a very, very pale pink, that one. And you see all these here, can you guess? Anybody know what they are? <laughs> On the top? Yeah, and they're for our yes. Yes. yeah. <laughs> yes, that's and it. What, what's the round Russia. ones then? What's part Are they lint chocolates, the round ones? Um, yeah, I think I use lint and Maltesers. And Maltesers, <laughs> just, yeah. These that's are just, a cracking idea, These that, are just isn't it? Um, brushed. Just brushed yeah. with luster the Maltesers. That's a cracking idea, I like yeah. that. And the Ferrero Rocher, or oh, what are they called, Raffaello or something are they called? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So um, I cheated a little bit and then I, I didn't have, a, you know, a lot of sprinkles in different sizes and things. So I just rolled a few little different size balls in different colours and brushed them with luster. And then again, I've used um, the grasses off the wild meadow. And these here are the trailing succulents yeah. off the trailing. The trailing leaf mold this one i love i love this cake i just love the colors on it again they mm, might not show very good but the colors on this are let me tilt it a little bit and see if that helps or bring it around well. to the front, bring it to yeah. the front. Okay. okay i couldn't really reach to do that i did think of that with the blue one but um so I know a couple of you are asking, Mushabiba, I think, I'm not sure how to say your name. Karen's going to show everybody how to use the mould, so just hold on. She doesn't <laughs> just show you the cake, she shows you how to use the mould. Yes, I'm going to go through pretty much every mould that's on the cake here. and I'll take requests as well mm -hmm. later on. Um, yeah, so this one, it's mainly, as you can see, the fringe mould. Um, I've done some different effects with it and I'll explain them down. and show them. It's fine, I'll move it back in a second. Um, yeah, I've just done a different style on each tier, really, to show fantastic. you the different options. Um, and then lots of flowers with the succulents, the large rows, the trailing yeah. leaves. I think that was it. Yeah, that, that looks that's fantastic. on there. Do you know what? I love that large rose all the time. It yeah, it's very no handy. What you use yeah. It yeah, so I'll pop that back over there. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last one here at the front is another one with the fringe mold on 
I yeah, do like bring that to the front yeah, as well. Yeah, George, bring that one over. Oh, yeah, I do like this as well. I think this is nice and pretty. I do like, I like soft. I like soft colours. Yeah, I, I like think. the pastel colours. Yeah. Those pastel colours are lovely and light. Yeah. So I've got to do less is more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the fringe again. Another, you know, different effects with the fringe. That's the meaning of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the macrame accessories to make the flowers made petal by petal so I'll show you that later as well so that is a very easy easy cake to do Margaret Kirk okay. says Karen Davies you're a genius no way I agree, <laughs> I agree. I she, comes so. up, she comes up with some beautiful ideas for moulds right more at the back yeah, isn't there yeah. I'll, I'll go this yeah. way so Shall I bring them forward, each one? That's very classic, that is, isn't it? That's like when you go to a spa type of feeling, that, isn't is it? Is it? <laughs> well, you do, when they, what, do, what are they like when you go to a spa and they have all the nice yeah, marble yeah, and their yeah, stuff? Yeah. yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. You can see the macrame. Now, the thing I forgot to tell you at the beginning was all the macrame on these cakes I did make. <laughs> I, taught, <laughs> I taught myself how to macrame. Did you? Oh, yes. ready for the mould, you mean? Yes, oh, my yeah, goodness, to make moulds from the actual macrame. So everything you, on these moulds I've made. Um, it took me a while. <laughs> Karen, has a big, Karen has a big van. They're wondering how you got them all in the car. Oh, yeah, a van. No, she drives the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a van. Yeah, so and we're uh, not to forget your daughter Alice, as Donna Jeffrey says. Yes, she helps out. Yes, yes no, she does. Alice comes she does. up with fabulous ideas. She, Alice gives well. me a lot of ideas because you, you yeah. know when you, you're trying to do things and design things, you, your mind goes blank, yeah. doesn't it? Quite often, yeah. you know, you'll think, I know what I want to do, but and I can't draw. You know, where people design a cake and they just draw it. Yeah. I can't do that. I just, I just have to start. Yeah. And mix and play and you know see what goes yeah. these, but, these aren't real cakes aren't they they're just they're dummies they're because dummies. normally in normal times they go to all the cake shows yeah. and hopefully they'll all go in november we're having a big yeah. display at the nec in november all being well fingers crossed touch wood everything else we can and you wouldn't be able to have keep holding them up really <laughs> no, no, they'd be a bit heavy. Right, yeah, so that Imagine one. Them. Yeah. yeah, again, you can see the succulents, trailing leaves, and the macrame at the front. That is made from the macrame mold. You know, the one that's just mainly the borders. This one. Okay. I love that with all the different borders. So that's lovely. yeah, it's got the strings on it and everything, and different borders. That's great. So yeah. Alice did that macrame. It's like a macrame wall hanging, which are all back in fashion again. Yeah, and the dried flowers are as well, aren't they? They're all very trendy again. Yeah. I love this idea. Oops, there you go. And that's off the macrame accessories and the fringe mould. Okay. So Lorraine Pike says she'll mm. never have any money. And Paula Brown <laughs> says, no, neither will I. No, nope, oh. but you'll have beautiful cakes, so oh. especially if you use your moulds, <laughs> take them out the drawers and use them. You'll see how in a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give you lots of ideas in a few minutes. I love the colours with that. Now, please forgive this one. Carol knows how cold it is in our unit, don't yeah, we, Carol? Do it and it does thing. get a bit damp. So this has warped a little bit on the top. But you don't need to tell them that. No, I don't. You can't see it, can you? Can't no, it's just it. slightly <laughs> bent because... And I do tend to rush things. <laughs> don't let them dry properly. But, yeah, but that one, I love this. I think it's so pretty. And this was quite good to do quite easy to do i'll show you that as well forget time um making the dream capture well lorraine who's never gonna have any money has just mm. said my name is lorraine and mm. i have been a sugar and crumbs addict for six months oh. well join the rest of the team <laughs> join the rest of the team <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go this was I love one that. that's so cute yeah is that cute how you've done those more those uh, clouds there the lovely aren't they the yeah. clouds at the bottom i'll yeah. hold them up close there so you can see little faces and that was just our crochet mold we just put yeah. some paste underneath to give them a little bit of a shape yeah, that's fantastic. and then obviously the macrame borders at the top there and a little sun at the top made out of our crochet mold again very very useful that crochet okay rainbows are everywhere aren't they at the moment yeah the dream catch is coming soon don't worry she's going to show you everything oh, yes, that will be coming over in a second I'll just do oh this. you're impatient you lot are you <laughs> Give her a, give her a chance. Well, oh. we're, all, we're all expecting us to go off at any point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's one Alice did there. You can see it's very tall, isn't it, to fit in? But um, they're just shapes that are you know made with the um, macrame mould with the borders, just shaped Fantastic. and dried. And then the strings 
down the sides. I and saw a few you doing flowers. them the other day, they look great. Yeah. Nice, easy, simple. It's a simple looking cake, but sometimes. I think simple, simple looks elegant, nice. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I know. I have to. I have to learn the less is more rule. <laughs> Isn't that one of the things on your book? Pardon? Ooh. Isn't that one of your sayings? Yeah, less is more. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I just don't follow it. <laughs> um, now, oh, I brought this just to. I can't help myself. I've got to throw more stuff on it. <laughs> right. The only mold I forgot to bring that was on a cake was my, the swan mold. These flowers at the top of the wigwam. I've got the swan. And round there, you've probably got, yeah, 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 you yeah you've got that so on mine. Yeah. yeah, so um, I don't need to do it for tonight because right. there's plenty to do, there's loads to do. But the, those flowers are off the uh, the swan mold. And I've just made this wigwam, I've just put paste round a cone, okay, to dry and just cut it open, bent the sides back, put a little edge on, little feathers out the top. So yeah, that's a very, very pale green and I've made the dream catches the same way as on the blue cake, which I'm going to hopefully show you. Okay. So that's another nice simple that's one. That's beautiful. I love that colour, that mint yeah. green as well. Nice. Yeah, I carry nail I've been a sugar and crumbs at it for six years, mm -hmm. so much so I joined the company. So she's joined the company and we were chatting tonight, Karen and I, she's been here oh. a year. Oh gosh. So um yeah. Gosh, so she came along to help me one night with yeah. treasure. Oh, right. So where should we start? I don't know which one to start. And apparently, I'm going to cause a divorce in Anne Marie's house. Oh. <laughs> um, just oh, to let you know, though, everybody, um, if you put everything in your shopping basket when you come to check out, you can do the PayPal pay for in free instalments, and it's interest free. So what they'll do is they'll divide your payments up over three months, and they give you ten days' notice before they're going to take your next payment out. So interest free, that's well worth it. So if any of you are worried, it's automatic at the, at the end when you check out. Just put everything into your basket and then uh, just go through it and it, 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 they don't ask a lot really. <laughs> and um, yeah, don't get addicted to it though, but it's a good way if you want to buy big things like this. <laughs> Right, we'll start with the palm spear, I think. And I'm not eating anything. I'm on a diet. These two can vouch. I've not eaten anything. <laughs> I'm not eating anything, can I? No. You haven't. No. No. Are you eating some? Who can they hear eating? Is it you? No. No, it's not me. No. You're not, are you? No. no. I had a drink of water a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, I must admit, I did have a drink of my water. I was no, naughty. I might be just yeah. was drinking our... I just did a slurp. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I had fish and chips on the way oh, here, so I'm don't thirsty. Tell us that. I'm thirsty. Oh. So I'll, get, I'll keep sipping my water. Right now, this is so big, isn't it? To do the big leaf, just pat it with some corn flour and take out the excess. That's probably too much by the looks of it. Take some off. So I'm using for everything. I'm using our sugar paste. Okay, we've got marshmallow or vanilla, and this works perfectly in the molds. Especially, we can't have much. Oh, I'll hide this. I'll take oh, it. no, I'm on a diet, Karen. <laughs> Seriously, I'm um, on a diet. I am as good as gold. Yeah, me. Oh, yeah, I'm using this for everything tonight. Um, especially, it's especially important with this fringe mold. You'll see why when I use the fringe mold. It will work with other pastes, but you've got to get Which it. Which one is it you're using? The, right. Is it the marshmallow? This is my this. Well, I'm not sure what this is because I've coloured it and mm -hmm. I've got marshmallow there. Okay, so I'm going to start to roll the paste out rather than put it in and press. It's just, it just helps. Okay, so we'll just lay that on and start to press it into the mould. Now these moulds are quite thick and deep because you can use them to make cookies. I know. I okay, that is a huge cookie. <laughs> a really big but it's cookie. It's a nice wedding favour as yeah, well if you do, the, if yeah, you do yeah. the wedding cakes yeah. with them. Yeah, that's a better size. <laughs> this one here is a better size. That's um, the small many, many one. years ago, okay. I used to own a party plan company. Oh. And we used to sell these fans. And oh, they sold wow. for fun. Yes. Everybody wants them. Oh. The, I'm sure all you ladies have had them as well. You had them all over your wall. <laughs> oh, that's right. You yeah, had the big ones. Yeah. So you remember them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I was saying, these these are quite thick. You might think that the paste is too thick, but you can make them a little bit thinner. You know, you can just push your fingers in. You feel where the lines are. 
just make them a little bit thinner if you want to um, and if you want them to dry if you want to use them quick you want them to dry fast and quick you can still add some CMC or Tylo to my sugar paste but they will without it they will set they will you know dry just on a piece of sponge you can see there I've made God, look at those cookies I've made them thinner I forgot to show them before I know you have to show them. Yeah, to show I'll them, bring them in I will I will so yeah so I'm just pushing this paste in um, far too much as you can see now you might want the stem you might not want the stem I'm just going to take some of that off anyway so if you want the stem if it feels at all sticky just add a little bit of corn flour if you want the stem just push it in and down like that and then I'm just going to take off I mean it's very rare you would want that really I've just put it on because uh, somebody might <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I think it's quite nice, actually. Yeah, yeah it depends on your design, doesn't yeah. it? Some people will want it, some won't. So that's ready to come out. Okay. Now, this is so easy to get out. You don't have to go round like this. You see so many people with yeah. moulds, don't you, doing this? Yeah. You know, you just turn it over. But this is why all these ladies love your moulds, Karen, because they are so And you just bend easy. it and it comes out, okay? That's because that paste was right. If, you, if you've not got this paste and you use another one and it's not coming out it's either stretching bending sticking or whatever it's not right it might need more tylo or less tylo probably more tylo to make it work okay so that can be left to dry on a piece of sponge now if you want a very small leaf i mean that one yeah i think that one has come out yeah come out of that size if you want a smaller one you can use either but you just take a small piece of paste Quick question, Carol yep. Bunch says, can I use part the palm mould with flower paste and put a wire in for flower arrangement? Of course. Mm -hmm. And you can use it for clay yep. as well. So yep. but don't mix the two together. If you're using your moulds for clay, you shouldn't really use them for sugar base. Apparently not, no. No, but if you stick them in the dishwasher, nobody yeah. will know. Yeah. So you see there, I've rough, made roughly the shape of the leaf and put less paste in. And I'm not worried, like there, it might not be very, you know, pointed enough. I can sort that out when it comes out. I can trim it. Just watch you don't go too thin and go, you know, rip through it. So press well. Oops. See, so if you're sticky, bit corn flour. And Susan Richmond's got the big TV all to herself because <gasps> her husband's in hospital having a hip replacement. Oh. Poor Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Stuart, are you watching? The things we do to get the remote control. Well I normally go to bed with Susan and Stuart each night. Oh. Was, <laughs> on a Monday night, do you not oh. know that? Well, when they got Facebook lives, Susan mm. jumps in bed with Stuart and they, she, wash it, she watches me on the telly. Oh, oh. He, tells, he tells me at the shows, girl, <coughs> I have to get in bed with you every, every oh, night Susan's you. got you on. Isn't oh, that true gosh. Susan? Oh gosh. Right, so that leaf now, you can see, it's a really odd shape okay because i just press the paste in but now i can trim it i want to trim it so use a cutting wheel or a knife and just trim to get your point at the top that's a bit wonky isn't it not very good shape i'd spend more time but it doesn't matter for now it's just yes yeah, so that's all you do just trim it to fit so you've got a smaller leaf okay again so you can do any size really just doing that with the big one or the small one. Right, so what's next? I want to decorate it now. Oh, the cookies. Let's bring the cookies in to show you first of all. Um, there's recipes. Carol has got some recipes on the website for the cookies. Um, sugar cookie recipe. It doesn't spread when it's baked. Are they upside down? I'll turn them round. They look fab, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, these are to match the cakes that I showed you earlier. The three cakes with the palm spears on. Um, yeah, so they're just, like before, like I said, decorated with the brush embroidery, the large rose, the succulents, that's the macrame accessories, rose off the buttercream flowers, and then these are just some different moulded pieces with a Malteser. <laughs> <laughs> a lusted Malteser so that's it yeah so they're very easy the cookies I mean you don't have to put anything on them you can just leave them like this is a plain a naked cookie you can just brush them with your luster um, whatever you want let's do that because Carol 
has put out some of her lovely new colours. I'm trying to think which one to do. Don't know which one to do. Look what that's like, the rose gold. Should try that one. This and is we, oh, we, it's a lovely pink, isn't it? We are out of stock of some of these colours. They will be in in the next two weeks. But um, I've just given them to Karen now to use. So if she's using colours that were out of stock, don't worry, they'll be back in in two weeks. Now I'm going to brush it on so you can see the difference. I pe usually paint. Just paint onto the edge. If you want a very soft look, oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? They are nice, aren't they? Very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So some of you have already ordered the moulds off me. Karen released them in the moulds on Monday um, and she couldn't get them all dispatched to me till yesterday, mainly because you were waiting for the photographer, weren't it's you? Been, there's been all sorts. <laughs> it's always everything. So she's going, Karen, I'm really oh, sorry I yeah. can't get them to you, but she's brought all the moulds in tonight. So yeah. all your orders that are held are being dispatched tomorrow. We've topped up all the stock as well because we've sold, we've sold out. And um, frozen blue, we'll, we're hoping our delivery should be here within two weeks. Now, I'll, I'll, I've brushed the edge with the powder just to show you how soft it looks. And now I'll paint, see the difference. All, everything that's with me is painted. So if you just sort of start, use a flat dusting brush and paint from the edge and as the colour dries I've mixed it with alcohol as it dries you can just get that softer finish going in towards the centre of the flower they're lovely really lovely I've started so I'll finish <laughs> go round so just to let you know, if you want to get to Karen's Moles very quickly, on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, if you go to the main page, it then says Facebook Lives Wish List. Drop into the menu there, it's got Karen Davies, it's got all the moulds there. And Pauline, I was actually in the office when you were on the phone to Karen Naylor, she is watching. So Karen Naylor, Pauline says, thank you for all the help. Oh, they are, she's responded. How quick is that? <laughs> Right, I'm going to just. What do you think of that flower. rosy gold? It's a pink. Is, it's gorgeous. Is that the rose gold on that one? Yeah, it's, it's a pinky yeah. rose rose yeah. gold, isn't it? Yeah, it's we lovely. Weren't, weren't really sure whether to nice. call it rose gold or not. Yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. Right, so what shall I put on here? Oh, I know. I'll do. I'm going to use this buttercream flowers just to make this little flower here. This has got to be your best. This has got to be your all-time favorite. Yeah, this, mold. this is so useful really useful. So this mould here is the buttercream flowers. When Karen and Alice brought this one out it caused oh. so much trouble. <laughs> the amount Confusion. of people thought for buttercream didn't they? <laughs> so but it's a beautiful mould. You'll use this one time and time again. It's just amazing this mould. Yeah. The name is just sort of a tribute to buttercream flowers. <laughs> it's because a lot of them resembled flowers made of buttercream. Yeah. No. It was just a, a quick and easy way to do it with sugar paste to get a similar effect or design. I'm just mixing some of that pink with some white just to make it lighter so we get a two-tone rose. And then on this I've just put some into the middle, some of the darker paste there into the middle. Okay. And I'm just going to put the light, lighter pink behind it. And press firmly. I'm not too worried about the edges, it going over or anything. And then just take that out. And you've got your little rose. Okay. They're so cute, aren't they? And that's going to go somewhere on there. And let's do a little tiny one to go next to it. I'll just do the one colour. Just roll a little ball smooth. Press firmly. And take out so you've got like a little bud to go at the side. Oh, that's lovely, Donna. So Donna says, not only are these lives, or not, wait a minute, let's start again, get my teeth back in. <laughs> not only are these always such great lives, I have to say, we always have such a great laugh when we need it. Someone said mm -hmm. cake decorating um, is serious, but if you can't have a laugh, life would be so <laughs> dull and sad. Sugar and crumbs has kept us sane. Oh, thank you, Donna. <laughs> such a good like it's like a little community isn't it yeah, everybody yeah. comes yeah. on every what's well, more than once a week isn't it yeah. you do it so you do so many 
They're all but, meeting up a few times a week. Well, it's lovely because they've met so many people like you. It's like you when they've yeah. been to the uh, gate shows, they've met you. What oh, do they yeah, say? Yeah, they I always say, I've seen you on sugar and crumbs. crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Every other person says, I've seen you on sugar and crumbs. <laughs> But they love it. But I get people saying to me yeah. at the shows, Carol, it's so lovely. Thanks for introducing us. They feel brave yeah. coming up to Aww. say hello to you because they feel as though you know you. Yeah. And so, and that, that's what's so nice about our platform. Aww. Right. This is the wild meadow. Okay. You've got all this like grass here and lots of different grasses. I um, can't remember the names of them all now. What um, All the different things that are here. You've got lavender. Um, little bits of jip nice long thin grasses so these like I say you can snip them you know make them really fluffy to look more like dried flowers so I'm just thinking where I'm going to put these I'm not going to bother getting really they need royal icing to stick on here but I'm just going to use this edible glue we should give you some about whipping it up to make royal icing oh yeah it's lovely yeah oh yeah, I'm just going to put these on. So Carl Hindle says, I wonder why Carl's here. Anne-Marie Pixie Hindle, Carol. So Carl Hindle says, Anne-Marie Pixie Hindle, Carol, you have a lot to answer for. My wife is never off your sight. <laughs> oh, we've got the husbands watching now, girls. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we can put on here. I think I might have a little bit of green fern. I'm going to just do... Just lighten that up a little bit. Uh, Marion Frost is going to be coming back or doing lives for us. So we're just waiting oh. to, um, to the end of June. Get that out of the way. She's doing our first demonstration more day. And you're doing our second demonstration day, aren't Ooh, you, Karen? Yeah. 3rd of July. So um, Marion, so they're just saying here, because Marion and Karen are very good friends. Valerie Swarbrick says, I remember Karen when Look. she used to demonstrate Marion Frost Cutters. Ah, I used to work for Marion years ago. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Because Alice then, when I started working for Marion, I think Alice was only about three or four. Really? Yeah. yeah. So oh my yeah. goodness. I, I can't was, wait to see Marion again. about eight years, I think. And Anne-Marie's just told her husband to get off the site. <laughs> <laughs> so, husband's on the site. He's the one who put the comment about her. On, on, <laughs> on the Facebook, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, I've just filled in the top of this fern on the tropical leaves, okay? Because you don't have to do the whole leaf, obviously. You can just do the top and just do a small fern. So I'll just take that off and that will go... I should have put it behind there as well, I think. Let's just put a little bit more glue on. Like I say, the glue really isn't strong enough. But um, it'll do for now. <laughs> to be quick so you can do as few you know as little or as much as you want to on them that's how you do the cookies okay well if you've got whipping it up make royal icing with that it's delicious oh yeah well i'll try that i'll have to try that um i'm trying to think i mean that basically is it with that leaf i feel like i should be showing you more but they're so easy but that's the simple solution that's all you yeah, need to the do the only other it? thing i was going i was thinking of what looked really nice your new colors I've done this is one I did a while ago so I thought maybe do it with lots of different colors on just to try them and see so I'm going to pick out some colors that I think will show up really nice I love that blue and this one violet mist oh ooh. <laughs> they are really nice I'm not just saying that because Carol's here, honestly. They are the lovely. No, well, you, really you had the goals nice. last time. We'll just give you the colours yeah, tonight, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, pink. That looks a nice pink. A different pink again. Shimmer pink. There's one pink that we're worried about. Well, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Some people love it and some don't. I can't make up the, yeah. I mean, my mind on it. The Mulberry Crush. All oh, right. Because mm -hmm. it looks back. Look at that colour there. Oh, yeah. But when you use it, it's a different colour. Oh, right. Which it is goes, why I call yeah, it the Mulberry Crush. Goes on different. Goes more Mulberry. Oh, <laughs> Right, I'm just trying to put them in some sort of order because I was, I was going to fit like seven colours on, but it's too much. Too much. So let's see, just get a piece of paper. Yeah, I just thought I might try lots of different colours blending They're all in. talking about they can't wait to meet you in July. Aww. So there's a few names there that I don't think I've met before there. So yes, mm -hmm. the demonstration days. I was just talking to Karen tonight, uh, Karen Naylor in the office. June next month, isn't it? 
and it's, it's like it's come round so are, quick. What are we? Ten days off June are we? Eleven days off mm. June, aren't we? Mm. And then we're going to start talking about Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, we're not. <laughs> hey, I got, I got sent my, I got oh. sent the distributor sent me the email yesterday to order me Halloween BWB molds, oh, no. and I'm like, <gasps> just hold on a minute. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, give us a chance. But can you believe it? <laughs> we haven't had any summer yet. No, exactly. <laughs> so Margaret Banks is looking to see you on the 3rd of July as well. Oh, great. I can't wait. Yeah, they're just saying the bit the green wonder dust will look really nice on there, the pistachio one. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't got with me, I've got a puffer. Actually, um, Marion bought it for me, actually. Did you? Let me just... Yeah, have you got one? Because I don't um, want to... Unhygienically blow. Is it empty? Yeah. Yeah. It'll do, it'll do enough. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I think I might end up painting it anyway. I think it'll show up better if I paint them. Yeah, I've just put a little bit of dust on. Where are we? Uh, a little bit of dust on. But I think I want to do it stronger because you can't see it. I can see it more, I think, than you can on screen. So I'm going to... I think you might find that fusion green is stronger. Well, I'll paint. I'm going to paint yeah. anyway. So, Julie Hayward said, my, my husband just said, who's messaging you now? Mm. I told him it was a notification that Sugar and Crumbs is going live. <laughs> it's live. Oh. Oh, who are you? Royalty, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Getting personal notice oh. of their lives. I said, no, they treat everyone in the Sugar and Crumbs family the same. <laughs> oh. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh. They're jealous, these men. These men are jealous because you all... <laughs> these men are jealous because there's two, three hundred of you all gather on a Monday and Thursday night and have a lovely chit-chat <laughs> and do cake decorating. <laughs> yeah, that shows up really nice now, doesn't it? Just putting the um, alcohol in. And Jenny Whittaker's coming to see you. Aww. Yeah, no, there's quite a lot coming to see you, actually. Oh, good. I'm glad I won't be there on my own. <laughs> no, 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 plenty there. <laughs> be nice to do sort of these things, won't yeah. it? Yeah. Get back to it. And I've got the date for the next um, demonstration day, the 25th of September, I think it is. Let me just check, let me just check. With Georgie Godbold, so I'll be putting that on the website. Yep, Saturday the 25th of September is with Georgie Godbold. Okay, I think I'll leave out the... I'm not going to have enough room. I did, oh, there it is. I'm going to go just do four colours on it. Oh, that was good time. And Face later said, can we have more demo dates, please? <laughs> so you've got the 25th of September for the next one. I've not put it on the website yet, but I will be doing over the weekend. This looks a bit odd at the moment, but trust me, it's going to look beautiful. <laughs> I just wanted to do one with lots of colour on it. And then the pink. Just message me, Angela, I'll sort it out for you. And Nikki King, the chocolate that Karen used is not on the website. I've been in the warehouse all day today. I've come home, I've legged it home, I've managed to have my tea and then Karen turned up. So I've not had a chance to put it on the website. It'll go on over the weekend. Right, that, I've just painted it on. Okay, and now I've rubbed off the brush. So the brush is quite dry. And just sort of brush over to blend the colours in a little bit. Okay. And then you can leave it like that or put a final, I'll just give it a quick spray, quick shimmer spray. Okay, so I like the way you've done that. That's, That's nice. That. I mean, I'd spend more time. This was just very quick. Just put your lip spray into your colours. Oh, why? <laughs> well, suddenly you love very hard colours. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, yeah, I would take more time. I think the pink and the lilac oh. looks lovely together, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's a shimmer spray, not the glaze. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't Sorry, yeah. no, don't use that glaze. I love that. <laughs> Do you like that smell from yes, that? Yes, I love it. Vanilla. Mm, yeah, it is nice. It's really yeah, nice. so that's another way. You know, if you do like a really plain white cake, yeah. you could do lots of these. That's beautiful, Karen. Yeah, coming 
down the cake or whatever. Okay, so I'll have a little tidy up. Has anybody got any questions while we... Well, I'll say hello to our YouTubers. Oh, yes. hello, hello, YouTubers. Not, not being quiet because <laughs> I've been dealing with um, the internet, so just checking things. Um, so hello to Jill and Jackie. And Jill says she spent a whole weekend with you, Karen. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember. Jill Cook. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Aww. Is this Jill Cook from, is this Jill yeah. Cook, Portugal Jill Cook, or down south Jill Cook? Down south Jill yeah, Cook. Yeah, yeah. The one I met at the weekend? Yes. Yes. Ah, yeah, right. She's lovely. So, okay. there is a lady here who's just said, can you do a road trip to Essex? Stockport is a bit far for us Essex girls. Oh. <laughs> uh, just hang on a minute. Stop <laughs> es Essex is a bit far for us Stockport girls. What are you doing? <laughs> It always makes me laugh when people say, a bit far for us. Well, actually, funny enough, it's the same distance for us. It's even oh. further for Karen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Okay, right, the fringe. I'm going to show you the fringe now. Um, what colour shall I do? Oh, I've brought a cake to put it. Yeah, I've got a cake as well to put it on. Have you brought a cake? Only a dummy, just oh, to right. show them okay. putting the fringe on. Okay. Um, I don't want to do too pale a colour because they don't see it as well on the camera. So, Lindsay, the shimmer spray was the pearl and it's from PME. Not so much pink anyway. Now, what I'll do, I'll use this first. Paul, a message the office tomorrow. Tell Karen Naylor to speak to me. Right, the paste is a little bit cold because it's been in the van on its journey, so I'll just soften it up a little bit. Now, when you, you use this mould, what you're going to do is you're going to roll the paste into it. If you use a rolling pin this size, you see it goes over the edge, so the depth of the fringe coming out will be exactly as the mould is, you know, when you press really hard with this. But if you use a smaller rolling pin, I think this is a five inch, and that might be eight or nine, because that's narrower, you can get that really, really thin. Okay. This, although it's a very plain looking mould, was quite tricky to figure out how to do it, you know, how it would be best for people. So that way you've got two options really, you know, on how thick or how fine you want the fringe to be. So I'll show you the whole piece first. Now this is our sugar paste, I've just coloured it. I'll just start to roll it out here on the top, on the worktop, so it's easy to roll into the mould. Okay. So, turn it over, pop it onto the mould, and then push it up into those corners so you don't miss them out. And don't worry about it going over the edges, okay, because you can trim them off when it comes out of the mould. So take the large rolling pin and start to press firmly. When you press like this, if your paste starts to lift up here, like sort of bubble up, it's probably because your paste is too soft. With mine, it shouldn't do that. It should be okay. But if yours is sort of lifting up, what happens is then it just goes back down into the wrong place. So you get two imprints of the pattern in different places. So you probably need to firm it up. But saying that, if the paste is too firm or too soft, it will lift up. It's got to be sort of just right, really. So that's the beauty of this. It's just perfect for it. It's such a good paste, you can do so much with it. So I've just pushed it, made sure I've pushed it into the edge there and then I like to take it off with my thumb. I don't use a knife. If you want to, you can, you know, cut with a palette knife or something. Although that looks a little messy, you just go along and pull any tatty little bits back into the mould. Okay, like that. And that's ready to come out. Like before, you don't need to go round flexing it or put it in the fridge or anything. Just bend the end back and peel it away. Okay, and then take a cutting wheel to cut off any excess paste going over the edge. 
So you could obviously you trim it if you want to. If it's too deep for the side of your cake, you can trim it. Um, left like that without trimming it, it could be the side covering of your cake. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that. But this one, I think that might be the depth. This is the same sort of depth. I haven't made it any thinner. Um, and if you want just it to be very, very simple, you don't have to cut every string. You can just get your cutting wheel and cut between a few of them and to different, different lengths. Don't do them all exactly the same on this sort of style. If you want it just quick to look like a quick fringe, that's such a good idea, that Karen. Just which is that's what I've done that here. One. The fringe. I tell you, we're all going to be covering yeah. our cakes up now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. It's all. going to be the new craze this year. But you see, see, it's just odd little bits. Yeah. Just um, that looks and lovely. then that would be taken and attached to your cake, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So I'll show you now thinner pieces. How to do the thinner, thinner pieces. So you'd get a smaller piece, maybe. If I'm doing something thinner and I'm going to twist them or whatever, I wouldn't work on a piece this big because you're just asking for trouble, aren't you, if it starts to dry up. Depends on the heat of the room and everything and your paste, what paste you're using. So just start to roll this out. So I'm just going to ask a question. Some of you have asked, can we do road trips? Do you mean sugar and crumbs or do you mean Karen? Just so that I know. So just so my head doesn't get that big, oh, sugar I can't and get out the door. And well, I was just going to say, oh, sugar and crumbs and Karen, two vans are on the way. I was just thinking, one lady just said, Liverpool, we could do a bit of a oh, free yeah, demo yeah. in your place, you know, yeah, Karen. Yeah, yeah. So we could set that up. We could have yeah, me, yeah. you and Marion in there. That's yeah. not a problem, is it? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, no, I'll, talk to good. I'll talk to Karen about yeah. doing a demo day at her place. Yeah. Um, where we could have three gems going on that day. We could do Karen, mm -hmm. myself, and Marion Frost. We could. Because we love our Marion, don't we? We could, we do. Right. Okay, so I've put that in. I've rolled it again, a little bit thinner. So I've got the smaller rolling pin this time. And then you start to roll it in. And I'm pressing really hard. <laughs> and you see, I don't know if the camera is picking that up. Can you see the lines through the paste, yeah? Yep. Right. That's perfect, okay? If you start going thinner and thinner and thinner, you're just going to end up with it ripping. It takes a lot for this paste to rip, actually. But, um, yeah, I don't want to make things too difficult for yourselves. Okay, so we just push that in. And then remove again with your... Sharon foot. Carpenter says you could use it for a Hawaiian skirt. Yes, mm. grass skirts. Lots of different things. Okay. A bit, bit small. And then... <laughs> Depends oh, who it's I, going on. I'm on well, <laughs> it won't be on me and Karen, will it? Crikey. <laughs> We'd like a right pair of rascals with that on as a Hawaiian skirt. Crikey. Um, I never wore anything that short when I was a baby. <laughs> Um, in terms of myself, John has got plans for me to do um, a demo in Rygate. Um, so we can't. We are thinking of doing something when I next go. Well, I don't know when I next go down to my, see my son, but we plan on having a bit of a get together, um, and we're going to hire the part of the room at the uh, Premier Inn that we're staying at, and having a bit of a do there, a bit of a demo there, and um, yeah. Anyhow. So we're going to try. So if we get Liverpool done, mm -hmm. and then if I can get down to Rygate, that would be great. Right, what I'm doing now, I've started to trim. I'm going to take every other string out. Oh, Marion's watching. Oh, hi, oh, Marion. Oh, Marion, good. We're she's plan in. We have plans no, for you. No, she said, count me in. <laughs> We're planning, yeah, no. planning things for you. We're glad, yeah, as soon as this, <laughs> she's been a good girl, so she's not been anywhere, has she? Oh, no. Hey? no. Waiting for the end of June, and then she's out, and first place is sugar and crumbs. <laughs> Let me tell you now, Marion, back on it then. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what I'm doing is taking every other string out, but I'm doing it at an angle, which it might be difficult for you to see, but that makes the strands that are left thinner. So... 
Let me start taking some out so I can show you and explain a little bit better. I'll just take out these that I've cut. Okay, so I started at this end and I'm leaning that way because this string is, this next string here is staying on the piece. But when I go to the right, I just take cut across the string. It's hard to see. Sometimes they make, do make your eyes go a little bit funny, you know, when you stare at them. <laughs> and then because I've cut the other side, I've tilted the wheel that way. Because this next string, then when I, I lean the other way again, I think sometimes when you if you get one of these and you play this back, you'll understand it better when you see it and have a go. Sometimes it's very difficult to explain what you're doing, isn't it? I find it hard to write it down as well. You know, the instruction leaflets <laughs> and things. But there you go. You see there, I've taken every other string out, which is what I did at the bottom of this cake. If you look at the bottom tier. Oh, yes. Clever girl. Okay, so you see there. Clever. That's, yeah. Clever girl. Got to think of all these different things, you see, different ways. Lots of different patterns and designs. Okay, so that's one way. I'll do something else now. So Maureen's with us from New Zealand. So wow. good morning, Maureen. What Aww. time is it there? And Anne Hill, yes, Rygate, just past the hospital, there's a premier inn that we that John and I stay in. So we're talking to them about hiring the room. Um, apparently, you've got to get in the car with me and John, Karen, come with us. And uh, uh, yeah. we'll bring Marion Frost. <laughs> Somehow we've got to drag Ollie the chock as well. So, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah. okay. he's having a baby in July, he won't be going anywhere. <laughs> uh, Maria Wilson, we've only just discussed this, discussed Liverpool just in this last few minutes. I, I haven't had a private chat with Karen for a date yet, but don't worry, we'll, we'll be on it. it. We'll sort it. Can we go to Yorkshire? Crikey. Oh yes, I love Yorkshire. <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Do you get me you and Marion eh? The road, the road tour. <laughs> the road tour. <laughs> I'm going to Yorkshire for a week in June. Uh, the cutters that Karen, that Karen is using, yes, they should be in stock. It's um, the cutting wheel. So just have a look. It's the PME cutting wheel. What I'll do, I'll lean this against the cake. I know it's a bit of a funny colour to go against a pink cake. But I think you'll be able to hopefully see it a little bit better then. Let's see. So, what I should have said as well, when you take it out of the mould, if you want to shape, you know, if you want to curve it or anything, you can cut Georgie them. Georgie Godwell says she loves this oh. mould. She could have used it for a hula hula oh, girl. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll send her one, tell her. For Georgie. the next one, for next time. <laughs> Georgie, message um, Karen and she'll get one out to you so you can get it on your... Uh, cakes and then yeah, you'll be able to show I'm anybody. I'm sure I've got her address. I'm yeah. sure I have. So Georgie's going to be back in the kitchen doing classes. So she's got a very long week with us. Aww. We're picking her up on the 24th of September. Demonstration day on the 25th. We'll treat her to a roast dinner on the 26th. <laughs> and then she's got to work really hard on the 27th and 28th. <laughs> <laughs> to earn a dinner. To earn a Sunday be... dinner. <laughs> Quick, oh. make an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to whip that girl into shape. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's had a lovely week here, so yeah. we've, we've had oh, a nice brilliant. time. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, so I've just hung this piece on here so you can see what I'm doing because I like to twist these as well to make another pattern. So you can twist all of them if you want to. If you're going to do that, just do very small panels at a time so they don't dry out before you get a chance to, uh, to twist them. I'm going to do every other strand so use a Dresden tool to pick them out, to separate them, and then start to just twist. So what, it looks quite nice because the one side is flat and smooth, so it really makes it stand out. I'm just adjusting that with the plain one. So it's every other one. I mean, you could do every other third one if you wanted to. But as you twist, just keep an eye on it because if you see, see it starting to go thin, or whatever just put your finger there to stop it like if I twist now and it, I keep twisting there it's going to break eventually isn't it so if you, if you think oh it's too twisted I want it to twist lower down just put your finger over it and hold it so it doesn't um, over twist and then break off 
So Linda Miles, I, I'm not seeing all your comments. The thing is, the feed's going. I don't actually know how many comments are on here tonight, and I've not seen them all. But it, is there something you need me to say? I did respond to your last message, and then um, Carol Gattenby, will the cutter cut the board? The cutting wheel, the PME one, will not cut the board. It's, it's plastic. It's, it's very good. And um, I'm just uh, if chefs can do a road trip, why well, can't SNC? So, because I have a full-time job as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, isn't it, yeah. sometimes to fit it all in? Yeah. Okay, so you can see there some of the Sorry, different... <laughs> <confusing you. laughs> no, I'm trying to move. <laughs> okay, so the first the first little bit here is where they were. every other piece was taken out. Um, and you've got to be careful as well here that you leave enough of a gap you know enough a solid piece to just stick to your cake without it ripping and falling apart all the time and then here I've twisted every other strand on that one okay um, and like I say before it goes on you can cut it into a curve or a V you know whatever you want so I'll bring that cake back over again so Maureen I do have... plan something for Northern Ireland but we've got to wait until we can travel over there we can go over there but we're just waiting until we're really sure we can go over there. Yeah, so there you go. That bottom tier, that's every other strand removed, every other string removed, and then every other string twisted as well on that one. And then above it, I've cut it into a V-shape before I've separated the strings and then twisted every other string, okay? Then the, the middle tier, you can just see there, is just straight, just left straight and cut quite short. Yeah, I've trimmed that so it's a narrower piece. And then the top, that top tier, I've just put all sorts on that top tier. You can just see it there. I've put different lengths of, oops, of string. I've just knocked one off there <laughs> and some leaves. Um, yeah, different lengths of string, bunches of string. And then I've used the macrame accessories mould with the borders and just hung. You can see there all... Um, oh, that's actually the succulents, the trailing succulents off the trailing leaves. But the others, I always go the wrong way. <laughs> um, these here, this is like the border off the accessories. And I've just made them and cut them at different lengths and just hung them down over to give Fantastic. a really boho sort of mm -hmm. feel to it. Okay. Yeah, so that's the string. Um, let's see, right, the macrame things now. There's the two, isn't there? So this is the new one. And this is good because all these borders you can use over the edge of your fringe mould. I keep saying string and it's fringe mould. <laughs> so Anne-Marie's some... husband has told me to tell... So Anne-Marie's husband, Carl, mm. has told me to tell Anne-Marie Vera is coming on in a minute. Well, you record Vera, Carl, and she'll watch <laughs> it later. She's enjoying herself. Leave her alone. <laughs> oh, right, I'll do a few things off here. And I'll show you how to make a flower. As oh, well. I'm trying to find a question. Somebody was asking me. Oh, they were asking, could you just show them your lion cake again, oh, please? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think maybe come under this top camera with it, really. Turn it right, to, you. to me, yeah. to me, to you. to you. And then they would just like to have a nice oh, close up of that go. lion cake. There you are. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? When you look at that, you know, it's really simple, really simple shapes. <laughs> the fringe, Beautiful the crochet, and the knit, the knitted piece. And that's it. <laughs> Lenny the lion. Oh, pop him back. I don't know how far Rygate is to Crawley, but let's just say it's near... Crawley is nearer to Rygate than Stockport, so if I go to Rygate, <laughs> make the effort to travel the hour or so. <laughs> um, I'm hoping, I will tell you, for Rygate, when I take Georgie home on the, she's here on the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, so it'll be that first weekend in October, wait a minute. I need to have a look at my calendar. <laughs> right, looks like we're going to have to get the diary dates out with you, Karen, and throw you in the back of the van <laughs> with all your moulds. Yeah, so I'm hoping to be in Rygate on the 2nd of October. I can't promise yet, but that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> right, I've just put a long piece of paste in here 
pressed firmly and as you press in just clean up the edges push it into the center and press it flat level with the back of the mold and then just turn it over and bend can we believe we're talking about october already <laughs> there we go and there's a nice border look at that that's lovely they're lovely borders in there and did you knit all them did you macrame did you, the macrame Yes, I sat with the string twisting Did and you? oh, it was so hard. <laughs> yeah, I was getting the hang of it and then really enjoying it when I'd finished. But it took Crummy. me ages. The to get, of a saint. It took me ages to get going with it. It really did. Okay, right. You never tried that at the macrame. No. Like in the seventies. No. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very 70s thing, isn't it? Yeah, I was still a kid in the 70s. Yeah, but the kids I tell you what things I was, like that. Well, I lived in <laughs> Singapore in the 70s. Oh, gosh. And what I, did, wow. what I did was I used to fold straws into... Do you remember folding straws into, like, a um, like basket? Um, I can't remember what it was. Drinking straws? Drinking or? straws, plastic drinking that straws. You used to do them flat. Yeah, you all did them, and then you folded yeah, them, you plaited them. I can't remember what you called with it. With two colours. Yeah. Yeah. And then that you brought them and then they yeah. make yeah, they make bookmarks oh. with them and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. So that's what I did in the seventies. Yeah. Throw them into landfill or into the sea or something. Pardon? Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody heard of a landfill or into the sea. No, then. no. Um right. right, this is one of the motifs. This is the small motif. Um now you can press if you want to, you can press and rub away. To get the holes in it or you can just cut the holes to whatever size you want to make it really lacy and fine so i'm just wondering if that's too oh no it's not too big so that blue there what brand yeah. of colors did you use for that they're I just asking i can't remember was it sugar flare was it color space color for splash um Ooh, what did i use sugar flare gel. it might have been sugar flare yeah. well we sell sugar flare so um, do you any chance you can remember which one it was? Ooh, ooh. There's so it many. Might issues. be baby blue. Yeah, I think it's Looks baby, like baby blue. blue, doesn't yeah. it? Mm. I'm terrible with remembering it'll be the gels. all the names. It'll be one of the gels in a tub where you need a little cocktail stick. Yeah, that's it. Now Sue Mellon knows. It. She used to fold paper straws. Ah, oh, there you go. What was it called, right. everybody? Let's make a flower. Oh, it's on here. Yeah, on a, like I said earlier, I just did the flower petals. So there's four different petals. They're two each of two different sizes, okay, to do your flower. So you need to make five. Whichever flower you're going to make, you need to mould five. Do you have any tin foil? I do. Oh, real. I forgot yeah. to put some in my basket. Oh, so. I think I'll do the big flower so there. it's easy to see. So I'll just very, oh, sticky very quickly. Um, mold five of these, which won't take long. And again, with these, there's an optional sort of lacy effect. It's just see through it there. If you want to, you can put a little hole in the flower. Okay. Or two, I think it's got on it there. But like I say, you can leave it covered up if you want to. It's up to you. So there's one. Two. I'm going to have to knit Karen strawberries. <laughs> Thank there you. you. Oh. They're really nice, the strawberries at the moment. It's starting to come in. They've been horrible, haven't they? Because they're so out of season. Well, I don't know. They don't look very red, these. So. Oh, I've had some nice oh, ones the last few days. Two. Right, I'm going to Any more questions? I'm just trying to find them. Yeah, I've just got a few more of these to make. Well, it looks like I'm never going to get the work done. We've, book, we've been booked out. <laughs> Somebody was just, I, think, I don't know who just said it. They said they'll, they'll see the big sugar and crumbs bus that we'll have to hire with all, <laughs> with all the uh, tutors on. Because oh. <laughs> you can see the red bus driving around the UK. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are nice. Oh. <laughs> mm. So Jenny Morwood says, Carol, could Karen show us how she would do the fringing yep. for the Highland cow? <laughs> she oh. <was> dying, please. <laughs> oh. 
I was thinking, yeah, on the way here, so when I'm driving, I sit and think of trying to think of cakes to do and stuff. I was trying to picture um, Molly's the lying down figure, whether that yeah. could be turned into one using the yeah. fringe or something. I bet like it that. could. Yeah. Nearly there. One more. So Jacqueline O'Connor says. Mm -hmm. I am useless at using moulds, not with Karen Davies moulds, no one can be useless with them. What would be the main tip when using them, Karen? Um, right, well, it's funny because like, sometimes I get messages off people like saying they've got moulds they can't use and what, to, what should they do with them and stuff and whatever moulds you buy, whether it's mine or any of the other well-known brands, they'll Every, they'll give you instructions on how to use them mm. you know but the ones you buy on ebay and you know these mm. other sites wish terrible yeah you never get anything they don't with come them out, do they? no mm -hmm. they don't they don't tell you how to use them because they're not they're rubbish they yeah. you can't really yeah um yeah but i mean the main thing with i mean mine i i i don't know well, it, yours, some sure. of them you see they're not they're like a softer silicon aren't they mm. and um they just don't work as well. I mean, I always use corn flour and a good paste. Yeah. Oh, you know. Karen's this, molds are so easy. Every this, lady who's here yeah. watching tonight who runs a Karen Davies mold, tell this lady how easy her, her yeah, molds the, are. Yeah, the, the, the other molds that are softer, because they're so soft, when you bend them, to, the paste goes sticks in them and goes with them, doesn't it? So that's why you hear people saying, put them in the freezer. You know, do all, all that sort of stuff. So it's very hard without me seeing that actual mould. I'm not really that good at giving advice on these other moulds because I never use them. You don't so, need to, just talk about your own. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, somebody messaged this week asking me about them. And um, it wasn't one of mine she was asking about. And you think, well... These, Isn't it funny people poor, ask you about other stuff? The poor people, they've, they've been ripped off, yeah. haven't they? You know, because it's so sad, it's yeah. awful. It's awful. So this flower, anyway, I've just made a little former out of tin foil, just to give it a little bit of shape, okay? So I'll see what that looks like. And what you can do with these, there's a smaller size as well, so you could do another layer in it. Hmm. So I'm just going to start to lay them onto here and just brush one side with glue. Always remember when you're buying moulds, if you're buying a brand mould and the price is the right price, you know you're genuinely buying the brand mould. If you find if you find Karen Davies moulds elsewhere, cheapest chips, believe me, it'll just be a coffee. You don't want to be buying any of them. And that's where the problems do happen because they don't get all the little crevices and bits in and stuff like that. So just be careful. We've just buy, bought buy copies. Off, just we've, yeah, buy we've, off quality yeah, cake supplies, yeah. people. We've bought copies of our moulds and we've opened the envelope and the smell. Oh, yeah. It's like, smell like petrol. Yeah. And you think, what is yeah. in them? Yeah. It's awful. But they don't yeah. care. The people ripping everybody off yeah you know they're ripping you off me off yeah they don't care all they want is the money well call us sam and says karen davies are the best molds around brilliant investment oh. multi uses and will last a lifetime <laughs> couldn't agree more couldn't agree more paula brown's asking how many molds do you actually have Ooh, karen i'll keep losing count i don't yeah. know <laughs> well let's just say i've got know. three tubs full of them oh. karen davies molds was the very first molds mm. i bought and i've said this time and time again oh. the cupcake hydrangea the cupcake border and the snowman, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, snowman bobble. I first bought. They will last a lifetime as yeah. well. They'll never rip or tear. Yeah. Um, Debbie Hargreaves is saying about Wish. If you go on websites like Wish, mm. all those are copies. Stay away from them. Mm. It's so annoying. Yeah. You know, I'll go on Facebook or whatever. Yeah. And the next thing, see Wish thing. comes up. Winter yeah. Village. I know. Um, and people are so good messaging me and if, if any of you have messaged me and I haven't answered or had time or whatever 
It's so difficult. There's nothing we can do. There's actually oh. nothing we can do, really. You report to Facebook and they just ignore you. The best thing you can do is just don't buy them. Just go to a just go to a proper seller like us, Sugar and Crumbs. Mm. Go to Karen. Go and buy buy where you know you can buy properly. Um, somebody's just asked, what am I eating? I've just had four strawberries. <laughs> Crikey, I must be a noisy chomper, mustn't I? Four strawberries. I'm on a diet, girls. I'm behaving. Right, I've just put a little flattened ball of paste in for the centre, and I'm actually going to make the centre from the petal, from the same petal, so it matches. So I just press a piece of paste flat into there, and you see that comes out. And then, if you want to, you could snip little triangles out, but I just sort of pop, pop it on. You can do it as big or small as you want. Push it down. If you want to push it sort of better, use your Dresden tool to push it in like that. And there's your centre. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so um, Marie Constable said, I bought off Wish once before. Bad move. They were small mm -hmm. and awful. Oh. And thank you, Charlie. I only ever buy my moulds direct from Karen or Sugar and Crumbs. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay, so um, what else is there on there? Oh, the leaf. There's yeah, a you, lovely you little you leaf. Let's do you a leaf. sell moulds to Steve at Vanilla Valley, don't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do a mint green leaf. Lindsay, email Karen and she'll tell you how to sort it out. So I've got a leaf here as well, a macrame leaf to go with our flower. So I may as well do one just to finish it off. So I'll just flatten the paste ready, make sure my fingers aren't sticky and press in. Thanks, Tracy. I do know Tracy Scrivens buys all your moulds off oh, us. So when oh, Tracy first you, Tracy. got to know about sugar and crumbs, mm -hmm. she was like, onto me, I need this mould, Karen, I need this one. <laughs> and I even bought some moulds in for it that we didn't stop that she had her eye on. Oh, well, there's the macrame leaf. And again, you can mould smaller leaves for that. You just make the shape roughly, pop it on. So yeah, I haven't, I haven't even cornflowered that and it'll still come out. But I just I still tell everybody to cornflower them. Who do you supply to in Southern Ireland, your moles? Do you is it stuff for cakes? Yes. Yeah. Jacqueline O'Connor, go to stuff for cakes in Southern Ireland. At the moment the UK are having trouble getting things into Southern Ireland via DPD. We can get a pallet there. It's funny though, I, I can get a pallet to Southern Ireland, no problem. But I can't can't seem to get anything via DPD. But go to stuff for cakes and they'll they'll be able to stock you. There's the leaf with the flower now. How okay. cute is that? Lovely, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. And stuff for cakes, sell our icing sugars and whipping it up as well. And you can buy your Karen's Mors there. Um, I'll just show you the other petal, the difference with the other petal as well. <clears throat> because it's just a slightly different pattern. I'm not, I'm not going to make the whole flower. I'm just going to mould the petal. But they can be, you can use them to do like borders, patterns around the cake anything they're not just flowers is there a reason i've got a blank screen or have i just come off the line mm -hmm. so that's the other petal for the other flower have you got okay. a blank screen it's working fine is it? <laughs> okay so the other macrame <clears throat> the first macrame we brought out the one i've just shown you is macrame accessories i'll show you the other things actually out of that Oh, there's a smaller version of that flower, which has dried a bit um, funny there. The other borders that are in this one, let's see, we've got that see. one there. Have you got it up there? Oh, yes. There's that one, that one. I'll see what pieces I've got to yeah. show you. Can I read the comments off your phone then? Oh, that other border's nice as well. That's another border. This one. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Is that just your sugar paste that's firmed yes. up there? Yeah, because there's nothing behind it. it you know, it's just air. Uh, if it was on a cake, it would have stayed soft. And that's a nice curved border there. Um, what's missing? Just the the ghost. It's not having it anymore. Probably, think... This is nice, Simon. Oh, nice case on there. Yeah, so that's that's the the mold, all the pieces in the mold. So you, you can, as you can imagine, there's lots of different patterns you can make, things you can do with that. 
on your cakes okay so the macrame um this has got tassels feathers very small feathers we have got another feather mold which has got really large feathers on it karen are you exhibiting at cake and bake in october we are hoping to yeah. <laughs> i'm not doing any cake shows anymore sorry ladies but um, um i always end up with a chest infection so we've decided that we're no longer doing cake shows but karen will be there all things going in the right direction yeah so i'm just going to show you these this is just one of the little feathers so susan fisher the tr it's called trailing leaves so which mold does the drooping greenery come from come from yeah it's the trailing, trailing leaves. leaves yeah it's really useful i'll show you that in a, in a little while don't be long So we've got tassels as well here, which are very handy for, uh, well, the feathers or the tassels really for doing the dream catchers. And then Linda Miles, I still haven't seen any more questions. I hope I've answered them all. Sometimes it moves really quick, doesn't know, it? Well, a few people it, yeah. say things, it's so yeah. hard. And there's the tassel. Okay. And again, that can be snipped. Or whatever and then there's lots of different borders here um if i quickly show you that very thin string because i think a lot of people would worry about doing that string but that's the one that's really handy for doing the um the macrame like the wall hangings um you want the very thin fine strings so this paste like i say it's so useful it's so good at things like this for doing really fine things without breaking we are sorry that we can't get anything to southern ireland it's not just southern ireland it's europe how are you doing getting stuff it's, there it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare. At the moment yeah i had a lovely email off a lady the other day in canada who wrote in to say thank you but from door to door it was there within seven days to canada mm -hmm. and yet mm -hmm. trying to get anything to, to Ireland, Ireland. <laughs> no. isn't it? it's mad but if we Crazy. go to a wedding in july john says i can load up the car with what i need to take <laughs> <laughs> right i've rolled a very very thin sausage of paste to go in here the thinner you can roll it the better really and then just start to press it in and you see i sort of push from side to side and down and i'm pushing the paste along don't ever do that because it just spreads it over the sides. So you can even give it a little tug. So just from side to side and down into the mould. So Jacqueline O'Connor says, which mould would you recommend for using on a wedding cake? She is making, oh, we are making our first wedding cake in June. Mm -hmm. And Maureen McNama, Karen is using her own paste. So do you, do you send supplies to anybody in New Zealand, Karen? We've just sent today, I think. I'm is sure. sure. I, mind you, I don't know if that, I'm trying to think, because I don't do the orders so much now. There was somebody ordered some. Oh. If she, if she emails me, I'll find out. Yeah. I'm not sure if it went to a supplier today or just one person, but something definitely went to New Zealand or is going tomorrow um right so that's ready to come out now now even you know you do that you think you're gonna bend it and break it it will still come out it's fine so all i do is turn it over and just push on the back with my thumb and then just bend the mold back and that's how easy, that's easy it comes out yeah that's how easy it should come out and you've got that fine string i know you won't be able to see probably on the camera how detailed it is just no, it's a lighter colour. <laughs> yeah. I think if you dust it with a gold or something, afterwards, it might pick up. It'll pick up, yeah. It's only because yeah. it's light yeah. colours. But um, yeah, the string is embossed onto there, and like I said, that's handy. You know, to do your shapes or whatever you want with it um, on your cakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now these as well. These are great for making rainbows. Okay. So there's one know, of them. They're really pretty rainbows, them, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, we'll go that way now. There you are. So I've used lots of different borders on that. And what you do is you make your, your shape for your rainbow first in flour paste or our paste strengthened with um, Tylo powder, but roll it really thin. 
preferably let it dry on a sponge pad overnight and then mold your borders and put them on okay and then finish it with tassels or feathers or whatever um yeah there's i think there's two cakes with rainbows on is there or am i imagining that yeah there's one there well there must just be i've got that one with me as well okay <clears throat> so i'll show you how i did the dream capture very very quickly no moulds involved apart from around the edge but I'll just do one. I'll do a very small green capture I'll do it in this pink I'll do it that dusky pink it might show up a bit better I just normally I just do them in white so um, preferably use flower paste or like I say put Tylo CMC in our paste. So she Jake, up. I can answer this for you. Um, but she's just saying, Karen, I've used your sugar face only for the mould. Have you used it to cover a cake and does it work fine, please? Some people like it for cakes, some people don't. Okay. Um I've heard both. For me personally, I don't cover cakes with it because it's quite firm and but I think it's nice to do half a sugar paste and yeah, half your paste. Yeah, well I've heard some people say they do it half and half to get the benefits of both and improve the flavour. <laughs> yeah, but I've got terrible like repetitive strain injuries and things, so I find it a little bit firm, to be honest. It, but it's a lovely smooth paste. Yeah, a lot it's beautiful of people, paste. This, a lot of people do lovely. use it for covering, but um, always try it first before you know. If you've got an important cake to do, like a wedding cake or something, don't just buy six packets of it to do all three cakes and then find that you don't really like it always try a paste first before um before you do important cakes yeah i would probably just mix a bit in a bit a bit of it in with normal paste yeah right i'm just using this to cut out a circle because i haven't got a oh, one should prepared one of, should be using one of our circle cutters oh carol <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, don't worry. I never you only had to right. I know, I know. I completely we could have shown the girls that all our ladies have bought the Use PME. Carol's circle cutters. <laughs> well, the PME circle cutters, and all our ladies have bought them. You. Are they? And we could it in the cupboard there. Oh, which one here? That one, yeah. There's 90, are they in there? Yeah, there they are, that oh, mountain. Oh. 19 circle cutters. All oh, our well, ladies have bought mine them. up a little bit then. <laughs> and then we're always there, oh. excuses. Oh, nice they and gorgeous. shiny. Oh, so, just in case, oh. just in case. Oh yeah, I yeah, always say to our ladies, let's find a reason why oh. we should use them. Oh yes. We stroke these as well as oh, the paper yeah. and the grey board. <laughs> <laughs> and our new packaging. Oh well, my um, my dream catcher is going to be even thinner now. <laughs> but this is a good way to show you how thin that paste will roll. You know, normally with sugar paste you can't roll it this thin, can you? I have to agree with Donna Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you wouldn't get far with Karen's marshmallow paste because it's divine. You end up eating more than you put on the cake. See, that's why I put six stone on eating Karen's sugar paste. <laughs> oh, oh it's your fault, Karen. Yeah, oh, it's my fault. The marshmallow oh. is to die for. It's killing me not being able to have a taste. Oh, they're so good. I mean, I've got loads of circle cutters, but they're all in a drawer in a yeah. mess. That is They're brilliant. Nice. It's good, isn't I might it? just yeah. have to clear my drawer out and yeah. get one of those. Um, right, what you would do, um, you would use your circle cutter again to draw on a piece of paper. Yeah. And you can fold it in half, into quarters, into the sections to mark on here. You know, do it on greaseproof paper and just mark them out. So I haven't got that, obviously. So I'm just going to guess. So please forgive me if it's not quite right. Um, yeah, if I just... This is just to show you how I did it, really. It's nothing perfect. It won't be perfect because I haven't measured this A few accurately. ladies said they're going to try it. Seriously, mm -hmm. buy marshmallow. Buy vanilla because you'll share that. It's delicious, the vanilla. But the marshmallow, <laughs> you'll become really selfish uh -huh. and you will snuffle it away in the cupboard <laughs> and you'll only get it out for your own cupcake. <laughs> right, all I've done for the um, dream catcher is use nozzles piping yeah. nozzles to cut out and make patterns so you know you can use that was a size a wilton 12 this is a pme4 
And so we're all pleased that you found another reason why they should be using their circle yeah. cutters. Whenever we can use them, we do. Aww. Sam, can I just give you that for comments, yeah. please? Can, can you read them? Just... Right. I'm not going to do all this, obviously. Okay, you just make up your pattern as you go along, or you can sit and think about it uh, and um, make something really pretty and intricate. I'm just sort of going a bit haphazard here at it. Just gives you an idea. So use different sizes to do different things. Yes, the cutters are very strokeable too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trish Collins has ordered some. Oh. I've got a set. Yeah, they're very handy, aren't yeah. they? Really handy. Okay, so yeah, so you would just do all these different patterns however you want okay and spray them with luster and then you would use your macrame mold to do an edge around and Maria it. Maria Wilson says she's mm -hmm. got a special drawer with your paste in it. Oh gosh wow <laughs> brilliant see I'm, I sort of do that and I think right that side needs to go the opposite way and I, I, it's, I'm terrible that's why I struggled with the macrame when I was learning how to do the macrame thinking how to um how to do the opposite direction and this isn't going to be anything like the other side but um, it just gives you an idea okay oh it's nearly nearly there not quite yeah and then brush it or spray it with luster when you've put enough you know done all your holes and your patterns and put the edge on off the macrame mold okay so that's how I did all the uh, the dream catchers okay so now oh you okay Carol yeah. um, I thought I would do some of the other things that are on these molds to show there. you Hello? <coughs> I don't know. some of the other things that we've got that go on the cakes So I'm getting really dry with talking. I've got one, thanks, Carol. And like I say, I had fish and chips on the way here. Oh well, <laughs> so yeah. that's made me thirsty. Well, I'm drinking that much water at the moment. I can't mm. stop running to the loo. Oh. <laughs> right. So I think a lot of you will have seen this before, the large rose mould. But there's always someone who hasn't. Really awesome. Oh, you've got big ears, Maria Wilson. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're flushed and loose. Oh. Yes, I had, to, I had to go for a wee because I'm on a diet and I'm drinking that much water. I couldn't hang on oh. to myself. Sorry, no. girls. You've got to drink a lot of water, haven't you? Yes, apparently. Um, white. The white paste. They can't get away with now, eh? No. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We're all good friends, don't worry. <laughs> Um, right, this rose, the large rose, you can just do it all in one colour, but I'm going to shade the paste so it's darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. So I've done the colour in the centre, then <clears throat> if I do it sort of equal quantities of white and the colour mixed together, you don't really notice the shading when it comes out. So I always think a third of the colour then with two thirds white, mix them together and you'll get a good difference that you will see when you remove it from the mould. Okay, that's ready. Let's flatten that out a little bit. And then pop that Have in. Have I missed something? Because Julie's just saying, mm -hmm. Carol, I'm trying to find the edible diamante. Do you sell them? No. Do you mean the edible diamonds? Those, um... I used to sell them. I don't sell them anymore because they're just um, they're not very good. They, they mm. the image of them are better than the actual product, aren't they? I've heard they, they go, go cloudy. They, they go cloudy. They? Not long after mm. you put them on. Yeah. So the outside petals, I'm just going to do in white because that's raised. No worries, Maria. Raised. I'll share me wee wee stops with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> because that's raised up a little bit in the middle. I, I try and keep it flat, but I've put slightly too much in. I'm just thinning out the middle of the next piece of paste. See, as I put it, put it over, 
and push that into the edges right up to the edge and that's ready to come out at the beginning when I put that first piece of pink in I pressed really really hard to get the detail from the rose so we just turn it over bend and out it goes well, they've all got the rear pods in that's why <laughs> I tell you what would have happened if I'd gone for a wheel yeah. and they didn't hear the chain flush wouldn't they <laughs> I hope you heard me oh. wash my hands for 30 seconds as well. <laughs> and I sang happy birthday twice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You don't hear them telling us to do that now, do you? I don't. You don't they don't tell us anymore no, all these things. I just do, do it now and yeah, I yeah. have it. It's easier, isn't it? <laughs> I've put loads of hand cream on because I knew my hands were on the camera tonight because they're so dry all the time <laughs> oh. right so I'm just thinning out the petals okay and you just pinch the edge and shape you don't have to do this but I think it just makes a nicer flower on the cakes I'm trying to think on the cake with all the fringes on I actually just pushed the paste into the middle section I didn't do the outside petals just to make a smaller rose and then this edge here, you turn your finger over so it goes at the side of the petal where it overlaps the next one and then pinch and shape. So the side, pinch and shape. And the side. But this is so much quicker, isn't it, than just sitting and making a rose. Oh, yeah. Doing all the individual yeah. petals. You know, it's not a prize winning rose or anything yeah, but it's beautiful but it's still pretty and effective and the people who come to you for cakes that's what they want don't know the difference they've not been to the nec and seen the competitions no <laughs> and how beautiful the flowers are and, you know they just want flowers on their cake and that that's usually enough really they love it anyhow yeah good Okay, yeah, so that's that goes nicely, like I say. I didn't realise my week had them. caused such a big conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, trailing leaves. You want to trailing leaves. Trailing yeah. leaves, somebody requested. Oh, it's because they're saying they've all got their earphones in, Carol. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go and have a pee in the garden next oh, time. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, these trailing leaves. Okay, we've got eucalyptus, ivy, rose leaves and trailing succulents. Now, they over, like these, the um, eucalyptus, they sort of overlap a little bit because it was, to make a mould and have every leaf separate as they would be, it would make it really difficult for you to use. So I have sort of overlapped a little bit um, just to make them easy to do. So, I've put some cornflour in, and again, you don't have to do the whole piece, okay? You can just do a small piece. So, I just smooth the paste, roll the sausage. Let's do the whole piece. I love the rolls. Show you how long it is. So, let me just answer something here. Sorry, mm -hmm. it's about my habits yep. here. So, what I am not eating, I've had four strawberries during this live tonight, <laughs> and two bottles of water. Okay, so I'm not eating, don't worry, but I am weeing, as you all know, so just to be sure, and I've washed my hands and sang happy birthday twice to myself, okay, so, <laughs> so where's that last question there? Oh dear. You can't get away with now in this kitchen, can you, I tell you, could you imagine if they were all in here with us? Oh dear. <laughs> there you go, so I've filled that leaf, oh that um the succulent now okay it's ready to come out again looks a bit tricky because it's all shaped just turn the mold over bend and pull it up pushing on the back with your thumb there you go <laughs> and there's your nice trailing succulent i love that mold it is so it's lovely. great this yeah. isn't it and i actually I mean, love that trailing one there That'd yeah it's actually on that pale i'll show you i'll bring this cake over it's actually on this very pale pink one mm. In pale Useful. pink. That's a nice idea to do it in that pale pink, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you see there Lovely on idea. that cake there. The and uh, they're asking, do you ever use treks in your moulds, or no. do you just prefer cornflour? Never, 
just corn flour, just corn flour. because it's so easy. If I use Trex then on that green in that mould and put the green paste in, I couldn't powder colour it straight away. So now I could. I haven't got dark green with me, um, but I would brush. You know, use a brush to straight away put some colour on it that's still damp well they're all before. loving your cakes but they're all engrossed about having a wee does any of you not want to go and have a wee i've just been sold oh, it's a good job no one's broke wind then oh, <laughs> no, this we'll leave that to Simon. very low on this show <laughs> oh, so, dear, dear. so if anybody would like oh. to dash off feel free oh um yeah so I mean that's not very good because it's the same colour as it, but you can use it again, you know, on the on the oh, palm that. spear to oh, decorate that them or whatever. There, Karen. And you can do small pieces. I've oh. actually, I've, I think I've brought them before. I've got some pots at home that I made you have? with these with yeah, the you have the little with the succulents pots. in, yeah, and yeah. then I've dried these and I've yeah. stuck them coming up out the top and everything. They're yeah. really, really nice, really cute. So, so that's the trailing leaves, Mum. That's ladies. the trailing leaves, and you've got the nice rose leaves here. I'll so everything rose, is on our website tonight, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can either go to brand, drop down, look at Karen Davies, and if you, I mean, colours are in colours and stuff, but if you want to go to the Facebook Lives Must Haves, the only thing I've put in there is Karen Davies moulds, because she's using loads of them tonight. And I thought, you know what, stick them all in, I'll including just... her sugar paste. But buy vanilla for everybody else and a little sneaky packet of marshmallow for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I've just moulded the three rose leaves, not the five. I'll just take that out. And then again, you could brush them. I had to put dark green, you know, going up the middle on the edge of the petal, their leaves or whatever. Yeah, so to good. To use with the rose. That's so okay. good. Um, yeah, and you've got ivy as well. You can just mm. paint into the ivy and get variegated ivy. You use that mould so much. Don't yeah, you? a lot. It's lovely. Lots yeah. and lots. Yeah. We do. Um, oh, there's the crochet. That's the crochet that's on here. So I'll just roll some paste in and show you. I like the way you did that, that free one. I never thought about doing that free one there. That was a bit sneaky, wasn't yeah. it? Well, you can just use it for one. Yeah, you can just I use know. one leaf or whatever. Yeah. I'll just quickly show on. you the pattern of the crochet because it's on the lion. Put in. Just slightly to stop me listening to the work because otherwise it brings up the subtitles. Mm. Simon <laughs> can hear Karen talking slightly on my phone, but if I don't <laughs> have it on, the subtitles are in the way. Can't you just turn them off? Eh? Hey? Don't know. Can you just turn them off? Right. I've only just I've just rolled that in so you can see the pattern. And how easy it oh, comes so out. Caption, sure. right. That's lovely. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. mould. All those, the knitted ones, mm -hmm. the crochet, the mm -hmm. cable, they're all lovely, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, there we go. I didn't know yeah. about that, Simon. Yeah, so that's nice. Nice for babies' cakes as well, that one. Down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah, it's nice it for babies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking you'll see it better, it's just going blurred. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, that's great for babies' cakes, yeah, it things is. for blankets. It's lovely. It reminds you of babies' of blankets, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It does indeed. What else have we got in here? Let's see. What I don't know, but get it you? out yeah. while you can. The succulents. Oh, I'll show you some succulents. Now, somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's pale green. These are nice to well, do in. What pastel succulents would look like? I've never done any pastel colours like pink well, I've succulents only done... and stuff. I think. I... Has Christina babies. done some like that on one of the cakes? Uh -oh. I mean, that's a very pale pastel green uh -huh. on there. So I'm going to do. I'll do one of those now. To show you that one. But they're very, very easy, of course. This succulent mold has actually like you've got your big, your main succulent here, but there's an extra petal, so you can do them really big, which is on yeah the cake on the, at the back there. It's got the really large succulent yeah. on on that Lovely. one. Um, how do you turn the subtitles off? Well, I've been doing Facebook Lives for years and I've only just found out. So you just top the top of your screen and on the right-hand side pops up three little dots. You press three li those three little dots and it says, turn off captions. Mine now says, turn on captions. <laughs> so there you go. So after all these years, <laughs> so <sustained. laughs> Now that needs a little bit more pace. Night, night, Lee, Carol. Okay, that's ready. 
I just added a little bit more paste to the back. I could just feel it getting a little bit thin on the edge. I didn't have quite enough to push in. So that's ready to come out. So we'll just pull the corner back and bend. So Sue Murray, the tra the trailing leaves mould is actually that's what the mould is actually called, trailing leaves. But what shall I back after? And I know quite a few are asking about the new chocolate. It's not on the website yet. I can't promise I'll get it on tomorrow. I need to go to bed tonight. I've been in work since seven this morning. Mm -hmm. But I need to go to bed after this live tonight. And I'm in work at seven tomorrow morning. But I will do my best to get it on over the weekend, I promise. I'm just trying this with a luster with the pink in the centre. So that looks really nice. Um... Thank you, Lindsay Carls. Lindsay Cowles has popped four, four uh, she's just added succulents to her basket. <laughs> she's at four moulds and a packet of sugar paste so far. <laughs> quite a lot of ladies have popped stuff in the basket. See, quite a few of them have got big shopping baskets. Blow away some of the dust. Now I'm just thinking this green, that green's probably too bright. I'm just going to put, use this green and just add a tiny touch of the silver to make it a little bit darker. Oh yes, that works really well. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like mixing colours, mm. but the problem is then people say, what colour did you use? <laughs> and they can't, can't remember. remember. <laughs> There's so many. So that's that has made a really nice green. So how to unpin the, how to unpin the note at the bottom, just press the actual post and then it comes up with a little cross and then press the cross. That should work, albeit it's not working for me. Don't know why. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Oh go. yeah, it says unpin comments. If you press it, where are we? Yes, yeah, so if you press it, if you press the comment, it'll come up and it'll tell you to unpin. Any news on the new rolling pins? Do you mean the twenty-inch ones? Uh, the acrylic ones are coming back into stock, and the twenty-inch grey ones will be in by the middle of next week, Friday at the latest. The other thing you can do with your flowers is snip so that the petals stand up a little bit. I've just done the centre there, make them more 3D. And these you can dry, again, like the the um, flower here in the foil, you could put them into a former to dry in a bit of a shape, which I've done on the cake with all the strings on. So it gets a bit, little bit more shape to it. Okay, and what's left, anything else? Keep pulling them out. Yeah. <laughs> right, this one, the brush embroidery, I've used a lot on this this pink, the pale, you know, the very pale blue cake. And they are on the cookie. Yes, Karen's using the Wonder Dust. Yeah, so they look really pretty. I'll show you how easy these are as well. Okay, um, let's get pale pink. flower this has got lots and lots of different flowers on this one flowers and leaves different shapes and sizes do a lot with this and they do sort of go quite nice I think with this theme and that's it ready to come out turn it over it's fabulous. Uh, you've I got all mold. your detail on I that. I say I love that mould. I love all your moulds. Mm. This is really pretty. Helen Williams says, yeah. I must say you make good use of all your moulds. To be fair, <laughs> every time Karen comes, she does always. I mean, there's loads of moulds here that you've all bought that she just keeps bringing out and giving you more and more ideas. So that's a good thing when Karen does do a dem. She brings in all her moulds because she knows that you've bought them all. So keep using them. That looks cute, doesn't yeah. it? It's, you know you hear sometimes I hear people say oh, I've got that but I've not used it yet yeah. and there's so many different yeah. things you can do with them you know these are nice like when you're doing cookies um, just even if you do a plain cookie using your PME circle cutters <laughs> you can just attach these and you've got a really pretty cookie you yeah. know for an afternoon tea or something or little presents little gifts in bags anything like that uh, all right, I haven't brought a small brush with me, but I'll just... Uh, oh, there's loads of brushes in the cupboard behind I'll just it. go for it. It's nice, it the bronzy. Oh, the bronze is gorgeous. Yeah. Have a little bit of bronze. The bronzy, that cake down the bottom there. The big What's bottom that? Tier. Oh, That's yeah, the painted with it. Oh, 
Lovely. Let's have a go, just put this in the centre for the petals and the stamens in the centre. Yeah. I mean if you wanted to you could do the outside, you know, the where it's brushed, the the edge of the petals. I just love messing about and playing. <laughs> Trying different things. So that's a flat brush you see on the side, just catches the edges. Yeah, just nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then maybe you could just do the same on the leaf of the centre. I did mine accidentally with a dusting brush, you know. Yeah. Oh, and it had some colour on yeah. you didn't know. Yeah, I you know, <laughs> brushed over it and it came off really, it came <laughs> really, really, really well. Yeah, Linda Miles, I agree with you. She said last time she took her iPad to the bathroom, she dropped the phone in the bath. Good job the waterproof now. Yes, I did a very similar trick last week myself. <laughs> yeah, so there's your flower. Okay. So Vanessa Wood says, I love that one. What's it called? I don't know where we were on the live and that happened, Vanessa. Sorry. Oh, which one? Is it which mould? We brought that many out. Oh, <laughs> right, which one have you used? Um, there's only a couple left in here now. Let's so see are these moulds any good for beginners? Absolutely. So Definitely. Absolutely. You'll have no problems with these moulds. They're the easiest moulds ever to use. Um, right, this buttercream flowers as well. I'm trying to think what else will go. And Pamela says she needs help. She's got ten moulds in her basket. <laughs> Pay by PayPal, do free instalments, interest free. Right. So I'm going to just do this big daisy because this is another good one. It covers so much. So I'll just press the paste in. Angela Bradbury said, I bought the stag mould and I don't know, I don't really know what to do with it. I just had to have it. <laughs> to be fair, Karen mm -hmm. has used the stag mould for loads of stuff, loads and loads of stuff, especially at Christmas, haven't you? Mm. Do, you have, do you only ever use it at Christmas? Pretty much. I do, but I do see it on other people's cakes, you know, like um, like Scottish themed mm, sort of cake yes, with yeah. the stags and whiskey and thistles or whatever. And it just depends. You know, or wedding cakes as yeah. well, I've seen them on. And... Lynn, uh, Lynn, the set of round cutters on the S&C website, if you just, let me, do, uh, let me see if I can get the link for you. They're under PME and then, uh, what's 19, that? 19. 19. 19 cutters. Is that what I said? Does it say 19 round? Let me find it, the link for you. But everybody's bought those round cutters, they love them. What's it say on the tin? Oh yeah, yeah it does. It says round cutters, set of 19 PME. But I'll get the link for you. Okay, so that's the large daisy. I'll just turn that over, take that out. Um, I'm going to just have a play with this as well and put some green. Where did the green lid go? I've made such a mess, got so much <laughs> out. Don't tidy up as I go, I just keep going and <laughs> going. Oh, there's the lid over there. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of luster, green luster, into around the centre of the stamens. And then we'll have, let's see, uh, nice, that nice bright gold in the centre. This gold is, oh, it's called bright gold. You yeah. can't see that. <laughs> I fancy that. Very nice. <laughs> yes, we'll just have this bright gold. What's it called? Oh, bright gold. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, that one. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. One of those nights. Oh, let's, shall I try mulberry crush? Yeah. <gasps> mulberry crush. That's very dark, very dark pink. Yeah, it comes out darker than yeah. it actually oh, it is. It comes out darker, yeah. right, so be very careful That's here. That's if you paint it. Oh yeah, it's just going to be brushed on dry, so. I'll just get a piece of paper to rub the brush on, just make sure I haven't got too much. Oh no, it's nice. So 
a flat dusting brush. So I've put the link on for the, the round cutters um, and I put it on twice under Lynn's name and also on the feed just in case anybody wants them. They are fairly addictive. We stroke everything in this kitchen. <laughs> Even stroke your malls, oh, Karen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad they're not left out. No, no, no. <laughs> no, when I show them your malls, we stroke oh, them. Yeah, so that's the big daisy. Okay. Come down a bit. Down, down you. a bit to me. There we go. There we go. And this is a nice one to snip the petals as well with just curved scissors because there's some really tiny little petals here in the centre, around the centre. Remember to give them a wash if you have used them for your toenails. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Remember to give them a wash if you've used them for your toenails. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the in the Sugar and Crumbs website, we actually have our own uh, scissors so that you can use just for your cakes. Right. I think that would look nice with the yeah. fringe That's as well, lovely, wouldn't that. it? I like that, yeah. yeah. Right, um, right. The other thing I didn't show you actually were the grassy things when you snip. The, I'm getting in um, trouble. The grasses on the wild. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't after believe you said it. After uh -huh. all that stuff you, you were talking about earlier. Yeah, but a wee is normal. Cutting your toenails is normal. With nail scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but with nail scissors, not those little scissors. They're nail scissors, aren't they? Right, I'm just going to show you, just finish off some of these little grasses that Sorry, go really so well. well <laughs> these go really well. With, Would um, the daisy cover a cupcake? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, it because does, you it? don't have to mould the whole that is quite a big yeah oh, how big is that about three three and a half four inches but you can inches. just go to the inner circle yeah the small you know the smaller do you want to show them how to do that in a circle karen yeah because i think a lot of people don't realize they can do this with all a lot of your molds they don't have to do the full mm -hmm. size right so let's go back to this So if we cornflower it. And, uh, Tell you've had a great time in this kitchen you tonight, haven't you, Karen? Oof. Hey, gone through a few things. <laughs> so after you've done this, they want you to run through the mold names. While you've got that big yeah. pile, you've not yeah. moved them all. Yeah, I you? certainly will. Yeah, they're all here. Yes, yeah, so that's just a smaller piece of paste. I don't, you know, last time when I did the big daisy, you can see the difference in the size. I did a much bigger piece, but this time I'm just, I've just put enough in to go to that size. I mean, that, that it depends on the size of your cupcakes as well. There's a couple of layers of petals there that you can use. So I'm just going there. I'm a bit sticky, it lifted then, so I'll just make sure it doesn't happen again. So I'm just pushing up to that layer. And that's what I said before with the rows, you know, you can just do yeah. the inner layers. You don't have to do all three layers on that either. Sometimes it is difficult, you might find it a little bit tricky to sort of see where each layer of petals starts and finishes, but I'll show you what to do when it comes out if it's a bit, there's some bits showing that shouldn't be. Okay, so that's ready, just bend, take it out. So when it's out, if you think, oh, I've missed a bit there, I should have pushed that in, just use your Dresden tool to tidy it up. That's a good tip, isn't okay. it? Okay, I use this such a lot, I couldn't be without this. Yeah. Yeah, so you just tidy it up like that. And then will you just put them side by side so they can see? Yeah, and then that would be a cupcake top. Yeah, perfect. That would be a huge cook yeah. cupcake perfect. top. <laughs> These make nice cookies as I well. Just, oh, we make cookies with them all the yeah, time, Karen. Yeah, to mould and make the cookies really uh, we, good. We actually make cookies with yeah. We actually don't make cookies unless we use your moulds. Oh, really? Oh, that's so good. When Karen's showing them how to bake biscuits, or I'm showing them how to bake biscuits yeah. all the time. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Right, so the final thing, we'll do some grasses that go with the palm spear. And like I say, it's so nice to have everything edible on the cake instead of real dried flowers oh. and leaves. Oh, sticky. Take that off. 
So you can do these, if you're going to do them in gold, I usually colour them like with pale yellow or cream. I just think the gold paints better onto them. Yeah. So you see that now, it's quite it's flat at the moment, but again, what you do is take your scissors and snip at them. And what I find, it doesn't matter where I snip, it looks right, because at first I was really trying to get the right place. And then I thought, oh, hang on, I just snipped and they look fine. They look even better, in fact. I think they look more detailed the more you snip. Yeah. And don't worry if you snip and you snip it off, just snip again. And the angle of your scissors is important. Don't do it like this. You've got to keep them pretty flat against mm. the paste. If you do it like that, you just get like a funny little V. Yeah. Like it doesn't look right. Yeah, so you can do that and then you can either use your scissors or your Dresden tool and you have to lift them or push them or whatever. So it just looks a little more detailed. Mm, looks fantastic. And leave it. You can curve it to dry, shape it a little bit, whatever you want. And that works well with a few of them on there. You can use some of the others, snip the others as well. So that's really good. So if I finish off by just reminding you of all the moulds. Okay, I'll do the three new ones first. This is the macrame accessories. Is there any chance I've got a Simon told the camera? Is, could yeah. you tell them the mould next to maybe some of the cakes? Yeah, show them. Because yes. then they remember. Yeah, them. yeah, do it. So can you hold your camera again, Simon? Yeah, and I'll because show this you can on say, the cakes. This one yeah. is there. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. Okay, let's spread the moulds out yeah. a bit so I can find them quickly. Yeah. Right. So what these cakes? We're gonna. Right. Shall, should I go by cake by cake and yeah, show the moulds that are on it? Okay. Right. Yeah. So we we'll start with lion here. So have I put some away or not? So let's move that out of the way. Over here, some for you as well. So the lion. You've got the fringe. Line We've got fringe. the knitted piece, which I didn't show, but it's exactly the same to use as the crochet. So the knitted That's piece the knit. for, the, for that bit there? Yeah, the ears, cheeks, nose, and that was the crochet as well crochet. was on it. There you go. Okay, that's all on the lion. Then here, we've got the palm spears. So the palm spear mould is this one. Then I've just shown you the grass off the um, wild meadow. And the wild meadow, Karen uses this mold for so many things. Yeah. You'll be surprised, just loads of things. Yeah, that's, yeah, all those different grasses there have been used with the leaves and also the fern off the tropical leaves as well. That's another useful one. These are great as well. Yeah. The nice tropical that's leaves. The, that's on the, both of these, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. the fern is on both both of yeah. them okay and then at the back here as well it's the wild meadow again which was this one for the little wild white again. the white grassy effects um your palm spear leaf which you've seen again and again yeah. three different colors <laughs> yeah, three different colors and biscuits on, but it's got um what was i going to show you then oh yes yeah, uh, the trailing, trailing leaves. leaves yes yeah that's got the trailing succulent there you can see it in pink just on the top of the cake and going down the side of the cake there and then this one here we've got the fringe mold okay the fringe on each tier and it's been put on in lots of different ways. And you've got the macrame accessories. There's so many pieces in that accessories mold. Though, yeah, isn't it? but I could I've go used wild the board with it, around the top and I've put them down the sides. I've also used that trailing succulent again here mm. on that one. And also the succulents are the main flowers here. And the large rose, which was just the smaller middle part of it. I didn't do it right to the edge, to the outer part okay and then here we've got the fringe again mm -hmm. <laughs> and the macrame accessories for the flowers and leaves and like I said the flowers are two sized petals in two different designs okay and then the cakes at the back we've got the crochet on there which was this one I love that how you've done that star. That's fantastic. <laughs> the sun. Yeah. It's a sun, that one. And then the macrame X. Oh no, macrame, which is over oh, there. That's it, it, with the borders on for the rainbow. Yeah. Okay. 
And even the border on that is just a strip of the crochet. Mm. Fantastic. I'll get Simon to take pictures of the cakes. He's just going to love yeah. me for this. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew oh, it was coming. This is what happened, Simon, when you didn't help carry the cakes in. Yeah, that one just has... That's got the flowers off the swan. happened to turn up as they all came in, didn't oh, they, Oh, yeah. The, mac <laughs> the macrame on there again. Love that. Okay. That's the macrame, macrame accessories. How did you make your ring then? Right, the ring, just do a thick, a deep piece of um, flour paste. Yeah. And if you cut it into a strip and put it round one of your PME circle cutters, I was cutters, just going to say, so use your PME <laughs> circle cutters. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Let it dry though. It's really important to let it dry for a few days before you attempt to decorate it. Okay. And then here on this one, on the macrame hanging at the front, that is just the macrame. And then you've got your succulents and your trailing succulents off the trailing leaves. Fantastic. Okay. Well, well what a demo. It, what a yeah, demo. Yeah. So everything there, ladies, isn't there? Everything there. So if you pop over to the Sugar and Crumbs website, okay, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you go to brands, everything's in brands. Um, see, you'll find Karen Davies in brands. Or if you go to the F FB wish list, all the moulds are there and Karen's sugar paste. I've not popped the Wonder Dust in. You can find all those there. We are out of stock of some Wonder Dust, but they're due in the next two weeks. Um, the chocolate, the new chocolate, I hope to get on the website tomorrow night or over the weekend. I might even get it on sneakily in the morning. I just can't make any promises. I just need to see how I feel in the morning. But I do need to be in work early tomorrow. And um, Karen, mm -hmm. as per usual, fantastic demo. Those of you who are going to come and see Karen on the uh, 3rd of July at the Sugar and Crumbs Demonstration Day, you'll love seeing her there. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and um, I will speak to Karen about doing a demo at her warehouse as well yes. for later on in the year. Mm -hmm. That would be a good, good idea. idea yeah, that would be so, great. Uh, we get Marion in as well. Yeah, we'll get Marion in and we'll have a yeah. great day down there yeah, as well. Yeah. So we'll Brilliant. organise that. Oh, yeah, super. pretty good. All right then, ladies, so thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank Good you. at your thing. And we didn't, our, our Wi-Fi did trip up, which was amazing. No, I was doing special measures just... Like we're keeping it going, it. yes, yes. We did have a nightmare 15 minutes before the live. We weren't oh. even sure we were going to go live. We were, we're, I've got to be honest, Simon has climbed all over this kitchen. So, <laughs> quite entertaining. Oh. <laughs> but thank you very much. Everyone's saying a fabulous night, oh, Karen. They thank you. Thank you, everyone, it. for watching. And thank if you. I do run out of molds, do not worry. There will be an email pinged over to Karen first thing in the morning. She knows. She she usually gets it before she gets home, don't you? Yeah. I'm getting get home tonight. It's about an hour's drive from here, and it's Carol's orders there waiting. Yeah. So if we run out, don't panic. We'll be stocked up in a couple of hours, so don't <laughs> panic. All right, ladies, have a super night. And Karen is on in the morning, half past eleven, doing her free from bacon. I don't know what she's doing tomorrow. Can you? Oh, she Something made... with strawberries, I think. <gasps> oh, uh -oh. Don't say that. <laughs> Oh dear, quick trip to I think Tesco. She's making a giant wagon wheel or something. Ooh, I'm sure wow. that's what she's I'm doing. I'm sure it was a gleaming face strawberry flan. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Well Thank done. You. Absolutely Thank lovely. You the for cakes are beautiful. Oh. And tell Alice as well. Yeah. Thanks yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Goody good. Thank you very much, everyone. Night oh, night. Thanks. Bye. 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 Thank you.